Vinyl Community, the Cassette Tech 2023. Originally, I didn't want to uh, take part in that uh, tag because I struggled with a couple of answers. But I made a comment um, on uh, uh, Dennis Analog Archives um, answers to uh, the cassette tag. And I said I didn't want to do it. And a low noise Jason Skills, uh, the originator of uh, that tag, um, said, give it a try. Here we go. I'll give it a try. I have to admit, I'm a little bit uh, drunk because a couple of minutes ago I had a chat with um, some friends online and they even inspired me to do that a little bit more. So, Cassette Tech 2023. First question, a tape from 2022. Razor's um, latest album, Circle of Contempt. Darcy over at Six Strings Nine Lives sent me that because he probably knew I already had this on tape. This this is all about showing off. Okay, well I've got the rest of the razor tapes. So Darcy was kind enough uh, to send me this uh, 2022 album. See Darcy, it still has uh, the crack. What's playing in the background is uh, Coven's uh, third album, Boneless Christians. This is a Brilliant, brilliant album. You have to get a lot of humor in, in, in that, otherwise you won't enjoy it. This song is called Satanic as Hell. And the second, <laughs> the second verse starts with the lines, I was sitting in my pentagram watching TV. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> we are satanic as hell. <laughs> awesome old school tape. Uh, outside of the tag. <laughs> I just love that. So playing in the background is common and boneless Christians. What a great record. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back to uh, the metal tag, um, uh, the cassette tag. Um, show a punk or new wave tape. I don't have too much um, punk, but I've got a tape from 1992. The banana tape <laughs> from a band called Sewage. This is um, a local band to me or has been a local band to me just around the corner I've seen them a couple of times and they are playing I'm fucking a nun <laughs> such a great album I don't know why there is some um, wax on it but um, for punk, I go with a sewage, uh, the banana tape. This might take a while, so bear with me. God, I enjoy this so much. Um, just show a metal or hardcore tape. I could have shown uh, the latest yuppie side and I like it <laughs> but uh, just show um, 
a metal tape. There you go. <laughs> That's Tom Warrior's address, I guess. There you go, Hellhammer and Triumph of Death. Um, a tape still sealed. I've got I've got only one tape that is still sealed, and that is a Max a Maxel blank tape that is still sealed. Um. Most experimental tape. I'm gonna go for one of my um, own uh, releases. Back from 1988. This is Conjuration with uh, the Chocolate Message. This was our old band. Um, not our first demo tape, but um, one of my first recordings with um, <laughs> this is really experimental. You can barely call this music. It's just um, a record. Nobody knows. Um, I'm gonna uh, throw it in. Like I said, uh, this is going to uh, take a little bit longer. Experimental tape. Louder. Is this experimental enough? Listen to the brakes. Oh my god. So, my answer for experimental tape. Conjuration, uh, the chocolate message. Next, um, a tape from the 80s, and I'm gonna stay in my era. Gonna throw on the uh, Coven, Coven album again. So, okay, a tape from the 80s, I'm gonna go for. Aggressor. This was a band from my hometown of uh, Neumarkt where I grew up and they did one demo tape and they did one um, show and on that one show they did uh, they recorded a live tape. So Aggressor with live from 1998. Um, a hip hop or R&B tape. I don't have any hip hop tapes. I had a couple of Run DMC tapes way back then. Um, the closest thing in my tape collection is a promo tape of uh, the 24 7 Spice uh, Gumbo Millennium album. German promo tape, promo right up in the front. So that's as close as I get to hip hop or uh, R&B in my tape collection. Next question. A tape you have on vinyl or CD as well. Um, 
like I said, I've seen um, Dennis's video and he has shown this cassette. Baphomet's No Answer. I would love to have uh, that one on CD, but I've got uh, the original vinyl pressing. On. Massacre Records. Actually, Massacre Records was um, the label of um, Thorsten Hartmann, uh, the singer. I'm sorry, he's called Thomas Hertler. There you go. Uh, this is um, the owner of uh, Massacre Records. Again, Corbin, it's so great. Okay, next one. Um, most expensive or valuable tape? <sighs> well, uh, this one is not very expensive, but um, the most valuable tape in my collection is our first demo, Inhuman Incantations. We released that one in 1995. That was my first official release with any band. God, my head was so small back then. <laughs> Look at it now. <laughs> so, most valuable incantations by Inhuman. A techno electronic or synth tape. Um, Let's go with um, Corrosia Metalla or um, Metal Corrosion or whatever you want to say that. Ah, this tape is just annoying. The lyrics are annoying, the samples are annoying, um, uh, the music is annoying. This is an attempt of um, let's put this mildly a bunch of Eastern European guys <coughs> playing the um, I'm searching for the right words here. Um, Find it all for yourself. I don't have the right words for it. A tape with a colored shell. No, a tape you bought at a show is the next one. Acephalus and In Hate. This is another pretty local band to me. Maybe um, 60 miles away from me. Um, Acephalus in Hate. I bought that back in 1982 at one of their shows. Um, a tape with a colored shell. This is one from the late 90s. Uh, Divine Desecration's uh, demo tape. Divine Desecration was a death metal band from Sweden and they released one demo tape. Uh, there you go. Old school 
fairly old school Swedish death metal. Um, talking about tapes, I have to uh, skip this one. Not skip it, um, turn it around. Uh, there you go, an important tape from a country other than your own. Let's go with Imperator from Poland and uh, the time before time. There you go, a Polish tape of course. So uh, this one is from, I don't know exactly, 1988-89, I can see it on here. So an important um, a tape from a country not being a Germany, Imperator. Um, Will you buy more tapes in 2023? Why and why not? I may get my hands um, on some stuff. Maybe if something nice comes up like uh, this um, Sirith Angol uh, tape collection. Look at that beauty. And it's got um, a poster that comes with the lyrics. So if I if I see a nice um, tape collection like that, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. Um, next question, what do you play your tapes on? I've got my tape deck right here. It's like uh, something like that. Pretty similar to a CD player. It's a Denon tape um, called DRS6. 40. I've got um, a little Iva Walkman with auto reverse and um, some kind of touch screen. So back then that was pretty fancy. It still works. It still works great. There you go. You can even see the inside because it comes out with uh, the hood, so to say. I've got a tape deck um, in the living room that is pretty similar to that one, but it has um, a three, three heads. I've got a tape deck uh, in the office I have got a tape deck um, in the bedroom and I've got a boom box um, in the kitchen so that there's where my tapes are playing Show a mixtape or a blank tape. Um, I've shown a blank tape that is the only tape that is sealed in my collection. So a mixtape. Another VC member, uh, Andy Cloudy Milder, made that one for me. The new wave of new wave of British heavy metal. A great little tape sampler with a short note from Andy. 
and a lot of uh, British bands from uh, recent days. Um, show an album you want on tape or vice versa. <clears throat> Aria is a band from uh, Russia. Pure fucking heavy metal. Sounding a little bit like Iron Maiden. Actually sounding a lot like Iron Maiden. Their album from 1995. I would love to have a vinyl copy. I know they did um, a reissue a couple of years ago on vinyl, but it this little fucker is expensive as hell, and I would love to have it on Black Rex. Um, already 21 minutes. Okay. Um, Show an A-Track or a VHS tape. <coughs> On October 25th in 1991, we did our third show and that was my very first show. I was playing guitar and singing. So uh, that is Obscure Life in October 1991. I've got our very first um, gig from 1990 on tape as well, but I want to show uh, that one. No, this is not on YouTube, but it's great. <laughs> So, here's the key for um, singing along. Show your second, third, or twenty third page in your collection. I'm gonna go with uh, page number three. Set um, objection over rules. This is my original set from back then. So, objection overruled. I always knew uh, from uh, tape. I just recently bought the vinyl because it's a great album. Um, a double cassette or tape from a box set. Okay, I've got one double cassette and that is Voivod's War and Pain. There you go, two tapes. Um, the first tape is uh, the album, the second tape is some demo stuff, um, the song they did for Metal Massacre and um, one of their first gigs. So uh, that is my double tape. And a tape from a box set, Syndrome's a second demo tape, um, Vault of Inner Conscience. This is such a great, 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 is it five songs or six songs? Just a, a fucking great tape. And that one came in a box set. There you go. Okay. Under half an hour, I think I can do the bonus question. Um, show a cast single. Riker's Test of Faith, German Hardcore, great, great, 
actually Rikers are a really great band German um, hardcore like I said with um, a great singer and this one was a promo cassette which had yeah just the song test of faith on one side the song is not even a three minutes long and there you go it's from the album a lesson in loyalty so hardcore Rikers Germany and hardcore doesn't go together but in this case it does That's it. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna get even more drunk now and uh, see you next time. I